All right, guys, not too long ago, someone commented on one of my videos saying I should do a video where I go back to my first Arsenal video and kind of compare it from then and now how I've improved. Now, I want to shout out that person who gave me the idea. I couldn't find their comment because I found that comment a couple weeks ago, so I apologize, but I'm sure that person knows who they are, or maybe multiple people have suggested that to me, but I was trying to find the original comment. I couldn't find it, but shout out to that person still. Anyway, so I was thinking about going back to my first video and kind of seeing how I improved. My first video was recorded back in like June 2019, but I actually started playing Arsenal in February 2019, so four months before I did my first video. Now, I remembered I actually clipped some stuff back when I started playing Arsenal because I thought I was like, you know, a pro. Um, I wasn't really as good. Yeah, so I actually went back in some clips. I actually have some clips from the very first time I played Arsenal, which is amazing. So the first time I actually played Arsenal was on February 26th of 2019. So this is the very, very first clip that I actually have of me playing Arsenal back then. Now, I think this is probably my like seventh or eighth game because I already had around 200 kills at this point. So it was around seventh to eighth, maybe more. Um, I didn't get my very, very first game, but it was around this point. Um, so this was one of my very first games, but not the very first. Anyways, in this clip, you can see already off the bat that Ricky actually pointed this out when I showed him. Um, I shot my weapons a lot slower. I don't know why this was. I don't know if it was different back then. I can't remember if it was different if weapons just shot slower or if I was just not clicking as fast as I could have been. But yeah, I would shoot my guns a lot slower, which now I don't. Now I just shoot as fast as I possibly can and just spam my finger on my mouse. Um, the other thing I noticed is my reaction time was much slower. I would take a little longer to uh, to go to my next target to start shooting the next person. So compare like this. to like one of my clips yesterday in my zero to 100 video. And you can obviously tell that my reaction time has improved quite a bit. I used to be very slow, I don't know why, but I used to be a lot slower when trying to shoot people, which is, you know, I've just improved over time. So just know that if your reaction time isn't the best right now, just the more you play, the more your reaction time will improve. The next thing I noticed right off the bat is my aim wasn't as good. I would always seem to go for like mid body to low body shots. Um, instead of going for upper body headshots, you want to go for upper body and headshots because if you can do that, you can get kills faster and move on to the next weapon and then move on to the next target a lot faster. But at this time, I'd always go for like mid body. Even some clips I saw myself like shooting people's toes. I don't know why I would aim so low, but I would just always go for like mid body to lower body. But now I've trained myself to just think about headshots and to go straight for headshots and it helps me a lot. And it gets me a lot faster game. So I really recommend if you don't go for headshots right now, you should improve your aim and start going for headshots because as soon as I did, it helped a lot. And also what helped me with headshots is just using the Roblox FPS unlocker. Um, with my monitor, my monitor has a higher refresh rate so I can see all those extra frames. It makes it smoother, makes it easier to aim for me. Um, so that's one thing and also I used to play on full graphics now I play on two graphics so I can get full frames when you play Arsenal the particles and everything kind of will lag your game at times and that can really ruin your shots so I recommend even if your computer is good I recommend bumping your graphics down to like two or three because this will really help improve your shots especially when those particles come flying in and they start lagging your game a bit it's gonna it won't lag as much and you'll be able to still nail those shots because you won't be getting that lag so turn your graphics down a good bit. Also in this clip, I noticed that I tried to like shoot someone point blank with the rocket launcher. I don't know if that was just a mistake and I was just like in the moment seeing if I could shoot that group of people in front of me or if I just didn't know at the time that explosive weapons could kill you. I don't know if I was still learning that. I knew about that in a lot of games, but I don't know if this game had it, I guess, maybe. But yeah, I just point blank rocket shot someone. Now I would just take the death because I know I would die either way. But at this time, I didn't even really try backing up. I just started shooting and I got myself killed. So that's that. Another thing I actually noticed in one of these old clips is whenever I sniped people, even when I was like really close to them, I would scope in still. I wouldn't try to do like the double QQ tactic or the 3-1 tactic where you shoot, switch to my knife, and then go back to my gun. Um, I went for no scope still, but not as much as I do now. Like I usually always just try to go for no scope so I'm like right next to someone now with the sniper. But at this time, sometimes I would still scope in pretty close. Um, especially even with like the Barret, which is like a one hit kill and like the op, I would like be pretty decently close. And now I would no scope, but back then I would still scope in. I don't know. I guess I was just trying to ensure the shot on the person, but 
there's that. Another thing I noticed is that I used to not use auto reload, which I used to hate auto reload, and then Ricky got me to try it. I still hated it. Uh, and then after some time, I tried it again, and then I got used to it. I really liked it. And I think auto reload's really useful, and it helps a lot. So you should use auto reload. Another thing I noticed is I now kind of pull out my knife like a lot more to kind of run to different parts of the map to get kills faster because speed is all in this game. You need speed. And I also like kind of pre-fire doors and areas I know people will come out of so I can kind of get that initial shot on them right when they peek. So that's some stuff I've noticed as well that I've kind of improved on. Also the fact that I didn't really know how to launch at the time with explosive weapons or shotguns. So I wouldn't really launch. I'd always just be on the ground shooting at people. I learned how to launch later on and then that changed a lot of things for me. So yeah, launching really helps. Another thing I used to do is like I wouldn't go for health packs and ammo. I don't know if I just didn't know what those things were dropping from people's bodies but it seems like even when i was at low health a lot of the times i wouldn't run over to someone's body to grab their health or anything i would just kind of sit there even at low health and uh and just keep running around and shooting people so i don't know if i didn't really know what it was at the time i think i figured that out later on and i thought you just slowly healed over time but um yeah i would never seem to go for people's bodies to get their health or their ammo i do that now and i recommend you do that now if you don't do that already because you need that health so you can jump into the next fight and have less chance of dying. And then the final thing is this clip right here. Um, I got into a knife fight with the golden knife and I was just spam clicking with it. Now I usually tie my knife. I'll click once. Once it regens, I will click again and then try to get the knife. At this time, I was just spam clicking with it. I wasn't really letting it regen and that costed me to lose the knife fight. And also, I don't think I knew about one tap backstabs at the time. So I would just go for whoever with the knife and I would just try to kill him really however. I don't remember if double jumping with the golden knife was in yet. I think that came in later, so I don't think you could double jump with it yet. But um, I still wouldn't really go for backstabs and I'll just run at people with it and just start spam clicking. Um, but now I, I time it, I try to time it at least, where I'll click once, wait for it to kind of regen, click again, um, and that definitely helps a lot, but for the most part I always try to go for a backstab so you can just get the kill real quickly. Um, but at this time I seem to just charge in and just try to kill whoever with the knife, but... So that's another thing I noticed. And those are the main things I've noticed about these old clips. Again, this was about a year and two months ago, and I've played a lot of Arsenal since then, obviously. So I've improved quite a bit, I've learned a lot more about the game and the spawns and the maps and everything. Um, so yeah, I, I've improved quite a bit, but it was pretty cool to go back and actually see these old clips of me playing, um, and see what's kind of changed, if much, if, if a lot. And so, yeah, I, I wanted to do this, and I thought it was a cool idea. So let me know down in the comments when you actually started playing Arsenal, and how much you've improved since then. Let me know how many kills you have now. And how many rounds it took you to get your first win. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me going back. Looking at some of my old clips. The rest of the video is just going to be old clips that I got. Um, so I hope you enjoy those. It's going to be ranging from when I first started playing to, you know, around the summer update and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy these clips. And if you did, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe for some more like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So goodbye.